Hi there, so today this is going to be a review video for the Revlon Photo Ready Pinched Cream Blush and it just comes in a wee tub like this and you get the colour, you can see the colour to the glass bottom. So that's the sort of shade there. I don't know if I'm overly impressed with this product. I think I got this for about five pounds. I did get it on offer. I will pop down the full retail price down below. Funny I could speak today. Oh. So this is actually, it's a lovely creamy product. It actually reminds me of the texture of Vaseline almost. It's got this sort of, but without the grease. It's got this sort of feel to it, you know, it's really creamy. Now, I'm really swirling my finger in this just so you can get a bit of a shade. I'm actually slightly disappointed with this product. You can see it in this finger. It's a sort of cream, creamy, peachy colour. You know, it's a lovely colour for spring, I thought. So, and that's the swatch. On my hand. Now, with this product, there's just, see if I just blend that out, you know, it almost disappears into your skin. I've just sort of given that a bit of a rub out. Can you see it? No, it's, it really, really blends out and almost disappears into the skin. Which I am, I am very fair. So I thought, you know, there would still be colour on my cheeks. You'd still be able to see that nice peachiness. I actually recently bought a Smashbox peachy blush because I initially bought this first. Uh, you know, I bought this a while ago, and I thought that'd be a nice peachy colour for spring, and that would be me sorted. But this just disappears into my cheeks. There's, you know, there's barely a trace of colour left and I don't know, it just, it just doesn't do the job particularly well. Um, for some reason there's fluff in my blush so I apologise if you notice there's fluff in it. But uh, I don't know, it seems to, you almost have to dab it on and just, if you over dab or you over blend this product will disappear. Uh, this is the only Revlon Photo Ready blush I have used. Now, I do have a friend, she tried a different one and I think she got on really well with it. So maybe a different shade would work well. But this pinched, unfortunately, it's, it's not for me. So you get approximately 12.4 grams of product for your buck. And, you know, that would that would be great because it is, it's a, it's a drugstore, it is drugstore prices as they say, but it's just not a very good product. I just wasn't overly impressed with it, which is a shame because I would much rather find a nice drugstore product that I can use and not worry about it costing the earth than having to fork out over £20 for a blush that, you know, which I really should have just spent the money on in the first place and got a good quality product. Uh, I do actually like Revlon, I use the Revlon Colourstay and I like their nail varnish and I'm sure I've got something, some other product from their range that I really like but I'm just really disappointed with this. Oh yeah, the Revlon Super Lustrous, they're fabulous, the lipstick's fabulous but I'm just not happy with this product unfortunately. So I wouldn't recommend it. I currently, because I hate to let things waste, I will currently use this almost as a base blush where I'll apply my foundation and apply this and then I will set my face with a mineral veil and then I will go in with my Smashbox Idolize Me and add a bit further colour. So yeah, that's I don't like to see a product wasted so <laughs> I'm a bit like that. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Don't rush out and get it. Uh, but as I said, this, this is just for me. Didn't work for me. These are my opinions. Did not work for me. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please like if you like, please subscribe if you like, and yeah, that's everything. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!